Welcome to TacosandGeeks.com. Justin here, back with more Summer Anime 2023 coverage. And boy, do we have the main event is here at last. ZOM 100 Bucket List of the Dead is out. As always, I give you a brief synopsis of the show. You can find this anime on Crunchyroll. With three years under his belt at the company from hell, Akira is mentally and physically spent. All at the ripe old age of 20. Even his crush from accountant wants nothing to do with him. Then just when life is beginning to look like it's one big disappointment, it happens. The zombie apocalypse descends on Japan. Surrounded by hordes of hungry zombies, Akira comes to the realization that will forever change his life. Wait, does this mean I never have to work again? Confess to the party like it's traveled to Japan coast too? Now with his nightmare job no longer, Akira got his mojo back. Let the bucket list begin. This, I read, um, and forgive me for my subscribers, because a lot of, of, of things that I'm going to say here, I already said in the manga review. I did review the volume one of the manga, and this is actually taking a lot from volume one of the manga, beat by beat, scene by scene. And... I love this. This was just from a production value. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous anime. I love the fact that they actually put the aspect ratio kind of like how it is in the cinemas. So it really gives it a cinematic feel, not just with just the way the animation is, just the way the shots are taken. They did some very liberties too of using the color plow for blood. They use it like a like a paintbrush, so you don't see too much blood. I guess I don't know why, but it actually worked, and it goes. With, I think it works for Akita's type of mindset. But this one is episode one. This is entitled. I think they had the episode title for this one. This is entitled Akita of the Dead. And this is actually just following Akira, um, as the synopsis stated, as him really hating his job, hating everything around him. And for the most part, it, it, it works, man. I love this. This is actually, I believe, and, and people who live in Japan can correct me, if this anime in the manga was actually a little bit of social commentary on the long hours and working conditions of people in Japan and, and the amount of hours and work they put in um, for the, the middle class or whatever. So you can just let me know on that. But I, I felt that this was more of a social commentary on just on life and living your life and not getting so sucked up on your responsibilities at work. And actually, you got to have time to enjoy. And we see that through the lens of Akira, where he had his dream job and he had and his job literally becomes a nightmare. It was not what he thought it was going to be. He's overworked. He's underpaid. The girl that he has a crush on is smashing the boss. She's the boss's side chick. He doesn't give a damn, though. Actually, Fellas, don't, don't, don't. If she's the boss of side chick, if she's a side chick, period, all right? Leave her alone, all right? Go find someone that's not, like, sleeping with somebody else that's already taken, all right? So don't just don't do it. Anyway, so Akira, he's basically at the end of his rope. And he, in the opening scene we get is this scene right here where he's watching, which is the irony of this, he's watching a zombie movie, and he's just like, you know what? Being in this situation will be way better than going to work. To have you have a job that you hate so much that you wish that the zombie apocalypse would is the end all be all would be way better than actually going to work. You must really, really hate your job. And oh boy, does I could have hated his job. So, you know, I'm not gonna give into uh dig dig deep into the spoilers or anything like that, but the zombie apocalypse does happen and he's ecstatic. And I love the fact, even when I first read the manga, I knew that this was something special because it's a different take on the zombie apocalypse. It's because you have someone who's going through the zombie apocalypse, but before he feels like he's either going to get bit or eaten or die, he's going to knock off this bucket list of things that he always wanted to do. And the first thing he's going to be doing is trying to get uh, a you know, motorcycle license or at least try to drive a motorcycle and everything else. So... I love what they did with this. If you read volume one of the manga, it's it's literally straight from the page, beat for beat. You can literally put the manga in your hand, turn on episode one, and turn the page and see where what scene or what page they're on because it goes beat for beat. Um, and I, I thought it did a really great job of, ad, of um, adapting it. The voice acting is great. Uh, this is a stellar, stellar cast. I love the music. I love the music. At, uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but I love the music at this particular scene with a particular somebody 
where he really does come to realization like, oh shit, this is a zombie apocalypse. They play this piano composition that worked very, very, very well. And I thought it was a good way to really hamper like, yeah, he's take he's not taking this as serious. He's over ecstatic, but now it's starting to hit him like, oh shit, I'm in the zombie apocalypse. Oh shit, people are dead. You know, I don't give a fuck. And then he goes back to just like, I'm going to do this bucket list. I'm just going to drink. I'm going to do this. So I, I like the, con- uh, I like, I like what they're going with. The animation stellar. Definitely, of course, this is a must watch. This is the this is the big one. It's the main event. This is what everybody's been waiting for um, for Summer Anime 2023. So it definitely lives up to the hype. ZOM 100 Bucket List of the Dead is a must watch. You watch this now. What did you think about it? And if you read the manga like I did, please, no spoilers on the manga. Please, please, please do not put any spoilers in the comic section. Don't be, don't be a jerk. Anyway. This is Justin from Metacosageeks.com saying later days. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, most importantly. That way you're notified. Uh, if you're watching this on the channel, you browse through our playlist there. We got uh, UWL Season 2 coming up this Saturday. The time is recording of July 13th. UWL is back officially July 15th. So definitely check out our WWE 2K Universe mode. Our, it continues with me and Dez. Check out our upcoming interviews coming soon. And that is it. Thank you for all your support. And if you're watching this on TacosGeeks.com, browse our website, check out our coverage of Sweet Sweet 2023. Uh, we had some really good fun there checking out vendors from Bandai, Corolla, Jack Specific. So check out all the new toys. And that's it. Zom 100 definitely lived up to the hype. Later days.